Hello, my name is Sami Uld Ahmed. I am an application engineer here at Nexperia. And welcome to quick learning videos. Um, today we'll be talking about LFPAC versus DPAC. LFPAC and DPAC terms refer to the package types of the MOSFET, given its, its overall size, the LFPAC being the smaller of the two. The focus in today's session will be the thermal performance. Now, smaller devices are desired because of the space saving they give. However, there is a common concern, and a valid concern as well, when it comes to thermal performance, and bigger devices are chosen because of their handling, or their better handling of thermal. In this uh, demonstration today, we have chosen the fuel injection um, application, which uh, thermal is a key element. Now the focus will be thermal, and hopefully we will demonstrate that the LF pack although being a smaller package, would perform as well as its bigger counterpart, the DPAC. Now, if you're not familiar with the fuel injection application, if I was to simplify it, it comes down to basically a MOSFET driving a solenoid uh, load in a repetitive manner, switching it on and off. The timing, the clean uh, turn on and turn off is of paramount uh, importance. Because a solenoid is an inductive load, the turning off of the inductive load means the MOSFET is operating in its avalanche mode. Avalanche mode refers to a current, uh, a, a considerable amount of current going through the MOSFET, hence why the thermal is of importance in this, um, in this session and the, the talk of today's uh, demo. So without further ado, we'll move on to the demo. So here in your screen, you will see the, uh, the circuit board with two sets of MOSFETs, LF pack on the right hand side and the D pack on the left hand side. We have the scope, which will capture the waveform for the um, signal uh, driving the MOSFETs. We will turn on the board and hopefully we shall see the MOSFETs switching on and off. Um, as can be on, uh, seen on the scope, the PWM signal um, showing the signal going into the MOSFET and we have a control button here for the speed of the MOSFET um, and the engine speed. So if you can hear the noise, it changes the uh, representation of the uh, speed of the engine from slow to fast. So, as I mentioned, um, to the right, the LF pack um, set of MOSFETs, there's four of them, driving four uh, solenoids, and to the left, uh, sets of four MOSFETs D pack, driving the same load for comparison. We will now uh, bring in the thermal camera, infrared camera, to check the thermal performance of the two sets of devices. We can get some uh, temperature readings. Uh, the uh, LF pack. 37.3, 37.5, or thereabout degrees. If we move on now to the DPAC device, and it's showing a slightly lower temperature, but still around 36, 35.9, 36 degrees. Um, as we could see in the thermal camera, the temperature measurement were very similar between the LF pack and the D pack devices, albeit the LF pack is pretty much half the size of the D pack. This particular example, we chose the LF pack 56, which is a 5x6 mil device. Now, the reason behind the LF pack, albeit a smaller device to the D pack, performing um, pretty much um, as, as well as the, the, the bigger package is due to its clip bond technology, which makes it a, a, a more efficient when it comes to thermal dissipation than the wire bond, which is the DPAC device. For more information about our product, our MOSFETs, and more videos giving more details about uh, the LF pack in general, uh, please visit nextperiod.com forward slash MOSFETs. Thank you.